Pay attention everybody. We're in Gailey in Staffordshire. We've uh, come back through Birmingham and uh, through Wolverhampton. We spent a good couple of days in Birmingham having a walk around and sightseeing and then uh, a difficult day getting through to Wolverhampton. And then from Wolverhampton we've gone through 21 locks to get back onto the Staffordshire and Worcester Canal and now we're heading north towards Etruria at Stoke where we left the Colden Canal what seems an age ago now back to where we started after leaving the Colden Canal and Froggall Tunnel if you'll remember so we've uh, really moved these last couple of days to get where we are this video really is about stuff around Birmingham going through the uh, Farmers Bridge series of locks in Birmingham which is interesting and also the Knoll 5 flight of locks uh, where we used to have our boat on the Grand Union Canal when we were kids so it was a bit of a trip down memory lane for me so I hope you enjoy there's a few bits and bobs to show you and uh, can't wait to get back to Etruria at the junction there where from then onwards for us it's brand new territory so that's going to take about another three or four days from now so I uh, hope you enjoy what's coming up cheers Interesting turn <laughs> through one lock underneath the motorway or oh, big road I don't know if it's a motorway straight into another 90 degree angle to get into the next lock it's a good job I'm driving and not rich he's had to do most of these locks they've been really tough on this stretch of canal coming out of Birmingham we're back on the Grand Union now they're not quite as bad um, but when we were on the last Birmingham arm, the locks were so tough at one point they had to climb up off the boat because I just could not open the gate, it was stuck solid. He's doing a fine job, done, I don't know, I think about 17 locks now, 18, 19? I think he's making beer noises, it's really hot and we could both do with a beer, so we'll see what we can do when we get through these last three locks, I think. So it's six o'clock, we've done 25 locks where we thought we were going to be doing 19. It's a lovely evening isn't it Fran? It's gorgeous, we got really hot in the day, um, but it's cooled down now. We've actually stopped and got ourselves a little beer to drink on the way round, but we're okay to keep going for a little bit I think. Just maybe yeah. another three miles. Until it looks like there's somewhere nice to moor up. 
We're still in the land of graffiti, unfortunately. Wouldn't that pee you off if you live there and there are people behind you doing graffiti on your house wall? So anyway, Jess is quite happy. She's up here with her daddy. She's not done much of that this year. She hasn't had a really. dinner though. <laughs> Let's just hang on a minute. Dinner. Did somebody mention? No, don't the say D that word. because she dances when it's dinner time. She might dance on the roof and fall in. <laughs> This is Noel flight of five lux and uh, I'm out of breath because that took some winding up. <laughs> and this is where we used to have our boat when we were kids at the bottom of the locks moored up there and we used to catch the bus for an hour because we parents didn't have a car and then we caught another bus for 20 minutes and then we used to walk from Knoll village just up from that bridge about half a mile away and walk down the towpath to the boat. Most weekends from spring onwards we'd do that till the autumn. And uh, yeah I've not been here now since 1977 so 42 years was the last time I came through these locks at least. So yeah interesting nice to see it again. Uh, I'd be interested to see the lock keeper's cottage at the bottom because originally then they, those days there was a lock keeper there and uh, I remember having many an afternoon playing with his daughter up and down these locks here. So looking forward to getting through and uh, going down memory lane. That's interesting, there's water flooding in, but it's uh, not overflowing at the back. So I'll still have to raise the paddle to get the water level as high as I can. And it's a bit odd, there seems to be too much water in the top pound. These paddles are hard work. I've never seen so much water coming out the back end of a lock. That's really fierce and I've only opened the one side again. Huge pounds full of water. Well, Fran's having fun trying to stay in one place. The wind's pushing her around a bit and the amount of water drifting through the pounds isn't helping. Well, she's got it under control, just about. <laughs> well, where that water's cascading down, that used to be the entrance to the old narrow lock. And you can see the recess at the back there where the lower gate would have been and the date on that is 1900 so 30 years after that they decided to uh, rebuild the locks as double width so interesting considering that uh, moving products by canal was in serious decline by then
Well, I've never known Fran struggle like this to get a boat through a lock. So there must be some serious currents going on in the pound there. And there's hardly any wind, so it's not the wind blowing her about. Let's see what she's got to say for herself. What's the problem, champ? boating. <laughs> just, you cannot control the boat in there. It's just impossible. You it. Oh, you heard it. Oh, she's put, thrown the gauntlet down now. I should swap, she says, on the next one, so see how, how I cope. But conditions are bound to be different in that last pound. There's the old lock keeper's cottage. Somewhat bigger than I remembered it. So I guess it's been extended on and the like. A beautiful setting still nonetheless. All right, this is the last one. Let's see how she gets on with this one. She says she's trying different tactics, she says. She's urging me to come on before she loses control again. These side pounds used to be full of water as a reserve, I guess. But now they're all empty and got uh, flag irises growing in them. Oh, that's my little trip down memory lane done. Oh, have you been waxing lyrical? Waxing lyrical about my youth. So yeah, it's uh, interesting to come back and uh, see where we spent so many weekends as kids. And uh, looking back on it, you know, as teenagers, I think we soon got pretty bored with the canal boat life. Just uh, not going too far every weekend most weekends during the summer and autumn and spring but uh, yeah I think it definitely gave me the taste to want to do it again in later life but anyway uh, looking at this line of boats here I guess our boat would have been moored just about where that grey blue one is just there yeah and it doesn't seem like there's many more boats here than there used to be. Still the same line. I wonder if that was there when we were here. What? That boat. Oh. I certainly don't remember seeing wide beams at all on the canal system in those days. Maybe it's uh, lack of memory or what, but I certainly I just don't remember them. A nice guy at the boat yard when we had the boat out of the water recently gave us this table for fold up fold down table for in the uh, well deck just here uh, so I've it was about this high much much too big for uh, our space so I've sawn off the back and I'm re putting the hinges on and then uh, screw it to the cratch board at the front so it'd be a nice little table for us to sit out and especially when eventually We've got the uh, benches either side that we're going to sit in on and uh, that will hide all the wood and coal etc. So great, coming along nicely. Hey, my DIY skills. It just gets better and better. Look at that little table for us to sit at and play cards and drink our coffees and, and have breakfast. Our new back board. Lift that up a sec, show the viewers how what superb craftsmanship we just need a hook we just need a hook to hook that up. to hold that up in dogs go 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 we're so chuffed i mean this has cost us nothing this was being thrown away and uh that's what we
be like best, isn't it? Fab, look at that. Something for nothing. I think we're going to have our we'll dinner on that it. tonight. Can I paint it cream? I'm going off now to pick a little bunch of wildflowers to go in the jam jar. <laughs> As you can see from the gunnels where Fran is standing, we've painted all the way along and also the front bow. And uh, we've started painting the back as well, but um, the other day when I was painting the doors at the back, it was just too hot and the paint was uh, almost drying before you'd put it on. But uh, you can see, after one coat, what a difference. So I've just got to uh, go around with the black in and touch up the rubbing strakes there. But I uh, don't mind that, that's, not, that's a quick job but I really enjoy doing that because it uh, adds that finishing touch. So uh, we're really pleased with the way it's going. And the big job is to paint the sides, so um, I think we're, we are going to paint it red. But well, that's, uh, that's a job for another day, eh, friend? <laughs> so we treated ourselves to this the other day in a um, second-hand antique shop. We have got backgammon on board, but we really, really like this one. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with any playing pieces, but it's a little bit big for that, but that will do. So, all you need is a bottle of wine, two glasses, and we're off. It's cool. Yeah? Happy? Stop! <laughs> <laughs>